In the next set of video, we will speak about how to use Redux Toolkit in practice. Redux Toolkit provides a way to reduce the boilerplate when you write a Redux code. And also it allows you to simplify typical operations. There are two ways to install Redux Toolkit. At first it comes bundled with Create React App. So if you already use that, you can use Redux Toolkit. Or alternatively, you can just install it as a separate package. To create a store, we used to use create store function from Redux. In Redux Toolkit, we use configure store function instead. Configure store takes the following properties. The first is reducer. This is usual reducer that we want to use for the store. And the second parameter is a set of middleware. By default, Redux Toolkit comes with pre-bundled middleware. For example, Redux Thunk for asynchronous actions and also a middleware for DevTools. Let's take a look at our example app. The app renders a simple table with pagination. On page open, we load the data and then work with it synchronously from the store. We can navigate between pages or change the number of items per page. Also, we can select items in the list, and so on. The app uses plain Redux. We dispatch plain actions, handle them in the plain reducer, and then just show the result. 